Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to enable free shipping in Magento 2. And this is dead easy to set up. Now, Dave, you heard me say that before, but this is really just a simple case of a couple of drop down boxes and it's job done. It's that simple. I'm really liking how simple these Magento 2 tutorials are turning out to be. I <laughs> know, indeed. So with that said, let's jump across to our desktop and we'll catch up there with you in a few seconds time. So Dave, we've been to come across to our desktop and we need to get into our configuration area. So we can find that down on stores and then click on configuration underneath the settings menu. Now it is worth noting that you can set up free shipping for different store views. So if you've got more than one Magento site set up in your system, then you'll want to change the store view drop down box and choose the store view appropriately. However, we're gonna assume that you've only got one Magento 2 website and you just wanna set that as a global setting. Now Dave, this is really simple. All we need to do is scroll down and we're after the sales section. So you'll see that I've scrolled all the way down because I know that that's quite a big menu. And the section which we're after is shipping methods. Now, Dave, you can see that I've been in here before because the section or the flat rate section was expanded. So I've just been to minimize that. And if you don't have free shipping expanded out, click on the down arrow on the right hand side and let's just scroll down a touch so it fills out our screen. Now, Dave, currently it's got enabled no. We'll need to change that to yes. Now, what I would suggest is that you leave the title as free shipping. Just for those of you in the United Kingdom, you might want to change that to free delivery or free postage, okay? Because that might make more sense to your customers. However, if you're in the United States or Canada, for example, then your customers will understand the term shipping. Also leave the method name free. Now, Dave, minimum order amount. If we wanted to set up our shipping so that if our customers order 50 pounds or $50, for example, from our site, and then they get qualified for free shipping, this is where we can enter that value. Oh, I see. So the customer would need to add $50 or 50 pounds, depending on the currency settings for that store view. And then if they meet that criteria with the minimum order amount set, then free shipping will become available to them. Obviously, if you've got other shipping methods, maybe table rates or flat rate shipping, then those shipping options will be displayed to the customer as well. Moving on, we do have an option here called ship to applicable countries. Now, this is a curious one. So let's assume that we're based in the United Kingdom and we only want to offer free delivery for customers who are also in the United Kingdom. So instead of having shipped to all applicable countries, which could become rather expensive if you imagine that your website's got a global appeal. So if you drop that option down and choose specific countries, then you can scroll down this list and then Dave down here, United Kingdom's down at the bottom. There we go. We've got United Kingdom. So the settings which we've now got is that if the order value is 50 pounds or more, and the customer has chosen the United Kingdom as their country, then the free shipping option will appear. Obviously, if you remove the value for minimum order amount, then free shipping will just appear for all your customers. And of course, if you're in the United States and just want uh, maybe $30 or hey, let's do $99 for example, then only customers who are in the United States and have added $99 to their shopping cart will have this free shipping option be made available to them for them to select. Now also, just a real quick one here, just from a customer's point of view, this last option, show method if not available, I would personally suggest that you leave this as no. There's nothing quite like going into the checkout and seeing that you don't get free shipping. Instead, use other marketing on your Magento website, such as a banner on your homepage or within a category or maybe a global banner to nudge customers along the line so that maybe you had an offer where it was order $50 or more and qualify for free shipping. And then the shipping option will appear in their checkout. And of course, once you've been and made some changes, remember to press save config in the top right hand corner. Now, Dave, we do have a message about cash management. Let's quickly clear out our caches. 
So I'm going to click on Cache Management at the top. From the left hand side, I'm going to drop that box down and choose Select All and then click on Submit. Give it a few seconds and then our Magento website will be updated. Nice and easy, Dave. Super easy, Matt. Excellent. So both myself and Dave hope that you found this video tutorial useful. And with that said, from myself, Matt. And from myself, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.